Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show you some planner basics using Good Notes Only um, and showcasing Jenny Golan's original Digibuja. Um, I've already downloaded this from the... Um, I purchased it, stored it onto my device, and downloaded it into Good Notes, and here we go. So you get 48 linked pages. And you get pages that look like this. If you use the selector tool, the linked pages do work. So page three takes you to page three, and the index takes you back to the index. So let's get started with Good Notes itself. Good Notes comes with a pen tool with different color inks, and you can add in other inks, other colors into your palette for your pen writing, and you have different sizes in pen, the line of your pen, and you would just slide this if you wanted it bigger or smaller. I'm going to leave mine alone because I like those sizes of pen ink. You have a highlighter with different colors through different sizes, and again, you can add more colors from the palette into your highlighter screen. You have an eraser which has three sizes of eraser tool. You have a lasso tool with um, the capability of lassoing and moving around your handwriting, your images, and your text boxes. And of course a selector tool which takes you from page, from linked page to linked page. So let's get started. When you have a journal like this, it's a blank slate so you can draw in it, you can write in it, you can make it a planner, make it a workbook, What you can use it for notes at school, whatever you like. I like to use mine as a planner. And if you're using Good Notes only, you need to stick to stickers or hand drawing because Procreate brushes require the use of the Procreate app. And we're going to focus on Good Notes only, so I'm going to click image. If you have them stored in your photos, click wherever your photos are stored. Um, I am storing mine in my cloud. And I'm going to pick a monthly layout sticker from a sticker pack that I purchased. And the beauty of stickers is you just lay them in your planner, click off the image, and you're done. You have a monthly spread. Now from here you can decorate, you can write in it, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to make this bigger so I can write in January. Okay, and you can write in your days of the week. I don't remember where this month starts, but you get the idea. You can handwrite those in, you can change your ink color, you can change your pen size. If that's too big, you can make it smaller. It's up to you. You can erase, and when you erase, it's only going to erase my handwriting and not the sticker behind it. Okay? So you can also use your basic tools here. You don't need anything fancy. You can draw. You can do what you like here. If I wanted a straight line, I would use this tool. And my wonky line, when I let go, turns straight. So you can decorate just with pretty lines. I like some color on my planners. So you can do something like that. You can, I'm going to deselect that tool. You can actually make some flowers. Be creative here. This is yours to do with as you please. Use my lasso tool. I'm going to copy and paste. But notice my image is turned on. So I'm going to make a mistake here on purpose to show you. If I go to lasso this and copy and paste it somewhere else, I want to move the flower. When I, when I paste, it moved the entire image. You see it picked up the background too? We don't want to do that, so I'm going to undo. I'm going to turn off images. I only want to use, move the flower, and the, because it's a highlighter, it's counted as, ta as handwriting. So if I copy and paste that, <laughs> it 
it picked up the highlighter behind it. All right, so let's erase the highlighter and we'll copy and paste just the flower. There we go. And you can do this however many times you like. You can drop, if you're a better artist than I am, you can do what you like there. And let's put that pink line back in just so it looks the same. Okay, so you can decorate this as you please, make it your own, and you can be done with that. Let's say you don't like your handwriting, so let's do a text box there instead. So I'm going to long press text, and I'm going to type in January. Okay, I'm going to make the box smaller just to fit the word. I can click this button, change my text color. I can change my background color. I can do other things here. I can make the text bigger. I can make the text smaller. You've got lots and lots of tools, basic tools here. And then I would just, oops, make sure you're in lasso and place it where you want it. You can also resize and put that where you want. So be creative, make this your own. Let's go ahead and put a February in here. Pick up your photos from wherever you have them stored and just position it into place. Click off the image, and now you have a February. That's just skinny. Okay, so now we have two months done. Um, so let's see. If I click this little four squares, it shows me the entire planner. Okay. If I click on a page, it takes me to that page. So on the index, let's go ahead and fill in that page one was January. Oops, can't spell today. January. Page two was February. And so on and so on. March, April, May, June. July, August, September, October, November, December. Now, you would fill all those in, or you can do it as you go, of course. But you ha only have 48 links, and there's um, 52 weeks, and then 30 plus days in each month, so you don't have enough links for that. So my solution is to use the links for the months, use the extras for extra goodies, like maybe a birthday tracker or something like that, and instead of using those links, I add pages in between here, in between my months. So let me show you how I do that. Let's go to the four squares. I'm going to click Edit, and I'm going to select a blank page, and I'm going to copy the blank page. Click Done. I'm going to click the Add button. And here's January, here's February. I'm going to add between those two, and I'm going to paste the copied page. Week 1, week 2, week 3. We're going to just say four weeks just for the sake of the video. I don't remember how many weeks January has. And I'm going to say done. I'm going to click on the page I want to start with, January. And you'll see that now I have page 1 inserted, page 2, page 3. That's my four weeks, and then there's February. Now remember we copied this, so the page number is the same page number as the one we copied. But we'll just cover that. It's not a big deal. The reason this is a good thing is that they copied pages, index link still works. It still gets you to here. So I can go back to February and this index will still work. Okay, now so let's use bookmarks to get to these pages that don't have a pretty circle link. 
we can instead add a bookmark for those pages. So whichever page you are on, if you click bookmarks, you have the option to add a bookmark. And you can call it week one, you can call it this week, whatever it is. And now if you click on your bookmark, it takes you to that page. So if we're not on the right page and I want this as thumbnails, the next one is bookmarks. If I click my bookmark, it takes me to that page. So that's how I get around um, not having a not having a link here. I simply use my bookmarks and it works just fine. So let's actually add in a weekly page. So we're going to long press image, select it from wherever you have it stored, and we'll pick a weekly page that is a sticker. And again, you just position it where you want it. And look at that, it happens to cover the number of that wrong page that we copied. Click off the image and you're done. That's pretty enough to not have to decorate. Um, but again, if you choose to, you can add more color by simply using the tools that you have built into GoodNotes. Okay, and you can make it your own that way, add your flowers, do whatever you like. Now, here's something that's interesting. You can lasso. No, I'll show you in a different way. Um, so that is a weekly spread. How about a daily spread? Now, I didn't add enough pages, 30 or 31 pages for, for January. But we'll pretend I added enough to do a weekly. And I just want to show you how to do that. We, the, uh, the dailies are, are just as simple to do. So to, let's do today is Sunday. And voila, same thing. Make it big enough to cover that wrong number. Beautiful. Done. And you can just play with this and make it your own. On the other side, you can have notes, you can have whatever your hearts desire. Let's do a gold tracker. You can do that. And voila, your daily page is done. Um, if you by some chance make a mistake and you need to erase everything on here, you can click these little three bars and clear page and it will give you a blank slate again. Okay, let's see what else. Something else to, that I wanted to show you is, let's say you start writing in appointments. Let's see, I have a doctor's appointment there and I have a school function here. And you can use your highlighter for different things, you know, typical planner stuff. And let's say you wanted to move that to another day. You would simply use your tool, handwriting only. Uh, just make sure this one's not on, otherwise you would move the entire background. And you can simply, whoops, it's on the wrong day, just move it to the other day. And that is it in well you know what there's one more other thing i wanted to show some people like the full-on sticker pages let me see if i have an actual sticker page this is a pretty sticker page okay so we're going to use this and good notes cropping when you crop out one one sticker it erases the rest of the page so i i just do it this way I insert the page that I want and then I copy I copy the whole page so I'm going to actually select yes on images circle copy and I'm going to paste it over here you'll see why in a minute okay so click off the new inserted image I'm going to click touch edit touch crop and I'm just going to pick up one sticker out of this sticker pack. But when you do this, done, the rest of your page is gone. 
So if I was to do that and then I needed another sticker, I would have to go back and re-import the photo. And I don't want to do that, so I, I find it easier to do this. Now, once it's here, I can copy and paste it over here wherever I want. Paste. So I can call that this week or whatever it is that you want it to put in here. Okay. Now another cool little trick is once you've separated one sticker from your sticker pack, you don't want to keep cutting and pasting that out of your sticker pack every time. So what I've done, oops, what I've done is I copy and I paste it into another journal. So I've downloaded the same original DigiBujo over and over again. Once you buy it once, you can it's a blank journal, you can use it however many times you want. And I actually did that here and I made a sticker book. So as I cut out my stickers from the sticker pages, I paste the individual stickers into my sticker book. And now next time I need one, I'm over here and oh, I need a sticker, I can go to my sticker book and I don't have to recut it out of a sticker page. I can just do it here and do it that way. And you can build your, as you're cutting out the stickers from your sticker pages, you can just save them that way instead of having to download the whole picture and do them, doing them one by one, I keep them in a sticker book. Any book that you have open will show up here at the top of your digital bill, uh, of your good notes. Now this is my my bullet journal that I actually use, and you see that I have February. There's a weekly page. There's another weekly page. Um, I do use this, and I do use my bookmarks, um, and I do just love this thing, and. It works just fine. And it's up here just because I was working. I was doing other things. So I have the big white journal. I have the original digital bullet journal. I have a sticker book. Um, I have lots of things. And that's it. If you come up with any questions, please let me know. Or something else you would like to see. I will be doing other videos um, as the weeks go by. So thank you for watching. <laughs>